So Intel is all set to introduce its next generation graphics architecture codenamed XE, or Qi, or Z. Going with XE for this one. Now they're doing this with their Tiger Lake CPUs. However, in a recent tweet from Intel, it would suggest that the company plans to detail its next generation graphics next month. The Intel XE graphics architecture will be the latest graphics architecture from the blue team to compete directly against AMD and Nvidia in all segments for the first time and well, I mean, honestly they had one GPU years and years ago but it really didn't compete. Now Intel has first prioritized its XE GPUs towards the mobility platform and the first products that will make use of them will be again the Tiger Lake CPUs with their integrated Iris XE graphics and DG1 discrete tier mobility chips. So a mobile version of the integrated iGPU, but as a dedicated graphics card. Now, according to the tweet that was quickly screenshotted by video cards, Intel is planning to unveil more details of its next generation XE graphics in the coming month. The tweet states that we could expect to see news in 20 days, which would suggest either the 14th or 15th of August from the time of recording. And of course, depending on your time zone. The tweet was specifically posted by the Intel graphics account, but even still, these could be details specifically for the XE graphics that are featured on the Tiger Lake CPUs. Do note that Intel also has an event planned for the 2nd of September, and Intel may be planning to unveil that its XE graphics first, followed by the launch of its first products to make use of it. But the more interesting thing here is the fact that Intel was quick to remove the tweet, which would suggest a couple of things. Intel might have mentioned the wrong time frame for the XE graphics card unveil in its initial tweet, which it could have then led them to remove it. Or the removal of the tweet could have been intentional as the company wants to create hype for its next generation XE lineup. Intel has already demoed its XE graphics power notebooks playing Battlefield 5, so that we can definitely expect some of the numbers based on the latest drivers and optimizations. Now I also got my hands on with DG1 or the, the, the vehicle one, the one that they sent out to developers back at CES 2020 and got to play on it for a minute so it was working. How great? It's hard to say. Now as we said, the Tiger Lake CPUs with integrated XE and DG1 Mobility GPUs with discrete XE are just two products. The real XE powered lineup is a bigger scale, powering discrete workstation, cloud, and HPC graphics cards. If Intel really wants to go one step ahead with its XE graphics launch, they can start not by not only unveiling its mobility products, but also detailing its discrete graphics card lineup and when users can expect them in the market. Intel definitely has some tough GPU competition ahead in the mobility market, but the real fight would be the discrete graphics field where Nvidia has reigned supreme in the high performance segment for years now and AMD still holds a commendable position in the budget and mainstream segment. And it is 2020 and these GPUs, the XE architecture and DG1, they said they would have out in, well, this year. It's almost over, so not a whole lot of time left Intel. Let's see what you got. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.